I'm a sociologist, and as a sociologist, we study society and we study social behavior. And um, a famous sociologist, uh, one of the pioneers of our discipline, says that society is not just out there, but society is in each and every one of us. So when each and every one of us come together, we don't just create society, but we bring together society that's already in each and every one of us. So that creates a very complex system. And um, I think that to me speaks uh, in a very strong way to today's theme of the whole sum is bigger than the sum of its parts. We can aim to improve cancer survivor, but I think the more important thing is to improve the quality of life for this improved lifespan. So we not only have to live longer, but we also have to live well. Cancer has got so many parts. Um, one cannot simply depend on one researcher or one research team because cancer is many diseases and we need many cures. So really it's the, we're aiming for the bigger part, the bigger whole, the bigger sum than all the individual parts that the researchers play. Food waste is a complex problem. Different groups of people see the problem from different perspectives. The customers, the businesses, the government. We can only see the problem from where we are and therefore suggest solutions based on that. But these solutions more often than not don't address the root cause because none of us see the full picture. The picture I have right now helps me to realize that the sum is greater than the parts. Mm. Um, so when I heard about this um, TEDx event, about the, the theme of it, it resonated a lot with me. Everyone plays a part in every single role, be it whether you are, the, you are having a small role. And once everything puts together, it really comes in force with a greater one. It has came so far for me to come to this platform. I'm very honoured to speak today at the TED Talk. Start thinking what you can do to make a change in this society after my speech. One of my um, favorite Chinese mythologies where uh, you know, the gods tie each other with an invisible red string and when they want to bring people together, they just pull them and we come closer. And I think what's happening right now in the world that some of us are being, you know, um, being drawn to each other. As a historian, I feel very privileged to be exposed to all these developments in the technology. You name it, artificial intelligence, virtual reality. Uh, but at the same time, can we do more to use this technology to reach out to communities who are longing for uh, this information and this knowledge? So, greater than its sum, parts, in order to come with a great picture, we have to include every single part of that picture. At the National Science Foundation in 2011, we launched a program called the NSF Innovation Core. And this was to spur innovation among academics all across the universities in the US. And this program, within just a few months of its inception, had become enormously successful. And the only reason it happened where the outcome was much greater than the sum of the parts was because all the people who participated in it, including the recipients of the grants, worked in such a way that they wanted to make it successful. It's not about the individual, it's about the collective effort. And that's the only way the outcome can be much greater than the sum of the parts. 
so my husband and I we started a business together so because we complement each other so much like in terms of like his strengths are like my weakness my strengths are his weakness so when we come together as a team we work together really well and we produce the results that we need so you know when it's one plus one it didn't equal to two but it actually equals to eleven similarly when we brought in new team members for example like one plus one plus one does it only equal to three or how can we make it like 111 so I believe um, that's the um, amazing thing you know when it comes to like how can we make uh, it greater than the sum of its parts I I'm sure by the end of the day you would have like heard so many speeches really great and inspiring speeches and you'll be wondering to yourself what am I going to do with all of these ideas right now so whenever I go for such conferences what I'll commit each time is to make sure that I commit to doing at least one thing and to take action on at least one idea. Living here in Singapore, I'm finding you know, the island's 51 kilometers across. And one of my colleagues who is thinking about astronomy a lot said, you know, the whole atmosphere that we need is only 10 kilometers high, which is a fifth of the width of Singapore. And I find myself traveling that distance all the time. And when I look up, it looks like there's nothing there, but all of a sudden I'm realizing that that distance is a really known quantity and I have to take care of it. And if I have a basketball that's like a model for the Earth, if I put a piece of paper on it, it's actually thicker than that 10 kilometers. That has me trying to understand how we all live in this closed unit and that we all have to be taking care of it. All seven plus billion of us have to find ways to contribute to each other and to ourselves to keep it going. I'm very pleased to be invited to be one of the speakers, but I'm also really excited about being here so I can hear the other stories the speakers. Every time I've been to TED, I always find that I come away with so many interesting, rich ideas that I need to go think some more about later and wrap it into my life. <laughs>